Did you accidentally shoot in low res JPEG or do you just have an online image that you need to increase the resolution of? Inside this tutorial, I'm gonna give you a really quick trick that you can use inside Lightroom to increase the resolution of your images, whether that's because you just need more resolution for a larger print or because you need to recover something that's just not working for you. This trick is really quick, really simple, and gonna help you out a lot. Let's hit the intro and get into it. All right, so here in front of me, I have this beautiful, beautiful photo, and it is showcasing a nice kind of rice patty, some girl, she's hanging out. Now, just for the record, this photo is just for demonstration purposes. It's not my photo. I'm just using it to show you how to do this. So I've got this photo, and it looks really, really great on this particular slide. However, obviously, we've got some pixelation. The resolution just wasn't high enough to be used in this design like this. So what can I do? Well, I can open up Lightroom here and import the photo. So I've got it right here. We zoom in. Yep. That's an issue. We're going to go up to photo and just select here enhance. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, now Lightroom actually has an AI feature in here that's going to go through and say, okay, how can we make this better? And it's going to increase the resolution of the image. So here's before, here's after. Looks pretty good so far. So let's hit enhance. And just like that, Lightroom is going to make a new DNG file. And you can see that it's done a good job, not an amazing job at increasing the resolution a little bit but we still have to clean it up. So now what do we do? We head into the develop module by hitting D on our keyboard, and then we're gonna scroll down here to noise reduction. Now we're gonna be able to clean up some of this noise and pixelation pretty easy, just by grabbing our luminance noise reduction and grabbing it all the way up. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna grab it probably about 20, 30, somewhere around there. And then you can either add some detail preservation or take it away. In this case, probably taking that detail down is gonna be more helpful for us. I don't really care if the photo's a little soft as long as it doesn't look pixelated. Now we're gonna try and add some detail back later. But for now, let's just kind of find a sweet spot between cleaning it up and, you know, making it look nice, keeping some detail. All right, now I'm going to grab the color noise reduction and grab that up. And that's going to help with things like this weird banding we've got going on on her hat. So I'm gonna grab the color noise reduction, take it all the way up. You can see how it just solves that problem right away. So let's take that up. Now what it is going to do at the same time, it's going to rob us of some saturation in the image. So we're just gonna come back up here to our main detail or our main panel. And I'm gonna just add a little bit of saturation to try and get that back. So here's before, here's after. I just wanna get it approximately the same. That's not too shabby, right around there. Okay, now the last thing that I could do is just take my texture down and take my clarity down, maybe even take dehaze down a little bit. And that's all going to help to just smooth out the image just a little bit more without making it feel out of focus. Okay, so that's definitely way better than it was, even with the enhanced feature. Now to compensate for making it, you know, a little bit more smooth, we can take our sharpening all the way up. Just kidding. We're just doing that so I can dial in my adjustment right here. I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on my keyboard and grab that, bring it up. And that's just going to show me as I mask it what I'm still going to be sharpening and what I'm going to be ignoring. Okay, good. And now we can pull that amount slider back to a kind of nice level. Honestly, probably around there is pretty good. Here's before, here's after. It's much, much cleaner. Now, if we wanted just to make it feel like there's a little bit more detail in here, we could take the blacks down just a bit. And I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna hit Shift Command E on my keyboard. I'm gonna scroll down and just make sure that I've got the resolution just set to full resolution. I'm going to hit export and it's saying I've already enhanced this. Well, that's because I already did. I've already exported it once. So we're just going to use a unique name. I'm going to move over here into Canva. Upload our new image, drag it in, and you can see it's much cleaner than the old one. So here's before and here's after once again. Kind of hard to get it exactly lined up, but hopefully you can see it makes a world of a difference. Not that this photo is perfect. I haven't been able to like turn it into a high resolution photo per se, but it's definitely much, much better. And I think for this particular purpose, it's going to work just fine. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, can you do me a big favor? Can you hit the thumbs up button? Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to keep notified on new tutorials and tricks for Lightroom, editing, photo stuff. <laughs> and if you want some free presets, check them out in the description. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, create something awesome. Peace.